The Passport Bros got y'all dating the KFC man. The Passport, the passport Bros, Bros got y'all out dating here dating the KFC, KFC man. man. That's just Damn, crazy. This, this is getting what y'all doing out now? There? This man. is what y'all doing? I man. feel so, well, so happy sorry holidays. for him. I'm just that saying. man's pension is about to be liquidated. You ain't getting none from me. She belongs to the streets. Yo, it's getting bad out here, homie. <laughs> Guys, it's getting real bad out here. The KFC man, and you know this doesn't have anything to do with the relationship. Her actually getting another guy really wanting to be with this Vietnam veteran or this World War II vet. Dog, this is all about survival, and this is all about her collecting funds. Her extracting, extracting, extracting funds in this man's case. Because this man pretty much lived a full life on his own or without her. So these women can talk crazy about the passport, bro, saying we're exploiting women, we're going overseas, it's predatory. But what women are doing here in their own country is absolutely predatory. And this is why men have flown away. This is why they can't pin men to this anymore. They can't try to put this on the average guy anymore. The average guy is smart enough. He stopped dealing with these type of women and he's went overseas. But now the older guys, these guys are the ones that are being targeted. It's, it's so sad you know what i'm saying she is targeting that man's pension she is targeting that man's retirement and all the money that he got saved up it's, it's sad bro but they talk crazy about us oh they don't you, you guys don't want to provide you guys don't make enough money and da, da, da. we go overseas if a woman passed our test if a woman shows herself to be uh loyal and you know um eligible for those things we'll do that for them but they have to be put to the test. You don't want to be put to the test. They want to be. They want to show wifey potential. But you, you just want to fake, fake it till you make it, fake it till you can rob this guy blind. And it's just sick, man. And they and they call us these things. But nah, y'all are the predatory ones. Anyway, man, next video. These women are crazy. It's getting bad out here. They're going to the KFC man now. The KFC guy, the colonel. God bless America. One thing that you don't like about men in our generation everything I elaborate everything i don't like everything all men are shit and these modern women wonder why men aren't taking them on dates men aren't looking their way men aren't calling them back men are ghosting them on dates and men just won't approach anymore they wonder why because they say silly things out of their mouth for the world to see because everybody's connected through social media and they out themselves like how smart do you think that you are if you're outing yourself in the dating market and you she'll probably tell you i have options i have options no what you have is you have simps you have guys that you can only use for validation, time, and attention, but it doesn't mean anything. It's only for you to pass the time away. It's temporary for your own self-esteem, for the fact that you can't lock a man down. So you can fool them. You can fool this woman that's just going to side with you doing the interview. You can fool your friends that are around you that just want to keep you at the bottom of the barrel. But this just goes to show you why men are going overseas, why men stop messing with these women. And these women are starting to strike out in the dating market. And I'm telling you, this is a young woman here. But once she gets a little bit older and her ovaries start kicking her in the gut, she's going to be like, uh. I got to I got to find a man. I got to stop saying this bull crap because if you keep having that attitude, men are going to keep showing you your worth. And your worth is only going to be 30 minutes of pumping, dumping, ejaculating, evacuating and getting you kicked out of the house at three o'clock in the morning. And you do that stupid old walk of shame with that same dress that you wore the night before and those same pumps that you have in your hand as you walk to the Uber. So, yeah, man, keep talking crazy about men and men are going to smarten up what they've already done and they've adapted. And you're going to get the grunt of that. You're only saying that now because it's popular to say at a young age. When you get older, you're going to look up and be like, where'd the time go? And you're probably 185 bodies deep. Just saying. What you should be singing is... How did I fuck up this relationship? How the hell did I blow it? Why was I incentivized? Why would I initiate? That's what you should be asking yourself because typically men stick it through. Men go with the vows through better or for worse or men get penalized. They lose their kids. They lose the house. You already know the story. Men lose more in relationships with women, especially in the West. But you have women here 
that get off scot-free most of the time, even if they lie about situations, even if they cover up the real reasons why they divorce and don't have to have any fault at all. That's why it's called no fault divorce. They make these, why did I do it? Why did I break up? It's like, you broke it up. Like, what do you mean, why did you do it? Because you were incentivized to do it. It looks cool to do it. And you think that a relationship or even a marriage has to do with your happiness and not about duty. Come on, man. These, these people, man, these people don't think. Like, bro, I've made so many of these videos. These ladies do not think. It is crazy to me. You would think that they would be smart. They say, oh, we're smarter than men. Uh, women, uh, IQ is, is is up more points than men. Y'all don't act like it, though, when it comes to common sense. Y'all use your feelings, your emotions, and you can't control them. Yet you're trying to tell men to control what they do with their own meat. Incredible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Olha esse look, Brasil. <laughs> Olha como ela tá linda. Dá uma voltinha. <laughs> Fellas, just imagine waking up in Brazil in the bed and as you wake up, you see this beautiful, long haired, mild mannered, fit, feminine and fit and also submissive, beautiful woman right next to you. You know what I'm saying? And she's up and she's like, hey, don't get up. Stay in the bed, I'm gonna go clean and I'm gonna go cook some breakfast. And then it makes you wanna just be like, you know what? Since you did this for me, since you you know, we're having such a good time and I'm dealing with you, you're dealing with me, how about we go shopping today? How about we go out and go, you know, on the town? How about we, we go on a nice a nice restaurant or something on me because you're taking care of me in the house? Men would do that like that. These type of women that look and act, you know, the part for men and know what men are looking for, know how to check men's boxes off, and that are, number one, genuine and not fake. So when women become genuine and men know that, men become generous. And they will be, they'll be like, all right, what, what's good? What do you need from me? What do you want to do? You know, it's not difficult, but women in the West can't get that right. But guys, just picture that, bro. Just picture her, man. Go back if you have to. Go back. Roll it back. It's only a few seconds bomb dog she's in shape too oh man <sighs> gots to go bro gots to go gots to go gots to go this is the year i gots to go i gots to get up out of here i gotta go see what's going on with the femininity down there in south america i got to bro i have to <laughs> i gots to go bro this is the year i've been kidnapped by a brazilian girl she's just taking me off the border from colombia to brazil i don't know where we're going what is the name Ana. Ana Paula. Onde vamos, Ana? I don't know where we're going. I've been taken to Brazil. Let's see what's going to happen. This is Brazil. As you can see, the frontera, three flags. Everybody on this side speaks Brazilian, Portuguese, and she drives like crazy as well. She is riding me around. I'm taking care of her lovely handbag here. Entendeu? No. Nada. No. She doesn't speak English, but she speaks a little bit of Spanish. Estão sequestrando. <laughs> All right, we're safe. We've made it. She's she's released me. We made it to some park things there. What a what a scene! <laughs> Just monkeys everywhere. What a nice. All right. She's treating me like royalty here. Got some drinks. Guarana, 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 Guarana. Meu meu bebida favorita. Hey, I'm just saying, she can bird nap me, she can kidnap me, she can adult nap, man nap me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is the type of napping I want to be doing. And then after, you know what I'm saying, we have a good night on the town and I beat some things down, then I will be able to, you know, really be napping after that. With no issues, with nobody trying to take my stuff or rob me because clearly I'll have cameras and signs posted in the room and letting the woman know when I'm coming in or when we both come in, hey, you're on cameras for my safety. You know what I'm saying? I'll be telling her to pour out drinks or for her to taste drinks first. If she give me that vibe, she give me set up vibes, she not even come back. 
Because I'll be able to notice, like, nah, she don't set up vibes. She a little too, nah. It's kind of easy, guys. It's not difficult as women say, like, oh, you guys are going to get hurt when you go out there. You're going to get, it's not that bad, guys. You guys have enough intuition and men tuition to use that you probably gained over the years here in the United States because women are pretty much universal. And you can tell when it's more of a set up vibe and when it's not. It's, it's not hard to tell. You know what I'm saying? It's not that difficult. It's just there's a lot of fear mongering going on right now in certain countries. But this is exactly what will be going on when I'm over there. You get what I'm saying? Or my fellas, my bounty village, you guys are going to be doing the same thing when you go over there. You're going to be with the baddies, hanging out, chilling, getting your vlogs in, getting your channel started. You know what I'm saying? Making money. You guys are going to be doing all of that while you guys are overseas. Having a great time. So this is why I need you guys to get your passport and use it this year because the sky is the limit at this point, man. <laughs> These modern women, man, they're just going to keep making videos. Absolutely hilarious, but <laughs> I'm going to keep being here making videos for you guys and reacting to them. So once you guys like the video, sub to the channel with post notifications on because I'm pretty much posting a video every single day. Make sure you guys comment for the algorithm. Back monetize. Uh, I'm going to get back into cooking this content that you guys love. I'm going to see you guys all in the next video. I love you, bounty villains. You already know up, Mastodon's down. See you guys in the next one. Get that passport. Peace.